good everybody calling here with tech out and we are on beta 2 here on mac os sequoia as well as ios 18 beta 2 and i just want to show you guys here the iphone mirroring feature it is now working and it is pretty cool um say your iphone's in your pocket or your bag or whatever um as long as it's close by connected to the same wi-fi network you can pull it up here on your uh, mac and you can interact with it um, i'm just using my my mouse, my trackpad, I do have a Bluetooth Logitech uh, MX Master. Um, one thing I did notice is these scroll wheels don't seem to work here on the MX Master. Um, so I'm scrolling on the MX Master right now and it's not, not doing anything. I don't know uh, if that's a bug or intended, but if I do the two finger swipe here on the uh, trackpad on the MacBook Pro, it does uh, scroll as it should, same with left to right. Um, the only other thing I can't figure out is how to um, interact with the notifications and the control center. Uh, I've tried, you know, clicking and dragging, just clicking up here, uh, two fingers swipe up here, um, and it's not, not doing anything. What you just saw pop up there for a second was the uh, spotlight search right there, um, but that's the only thing coming up. Um, so I'm not too sure about that. You can click on like some elements, uh, like if you're down here, you don't have to swipe um, on the home screen or on the uh, navigation bar to go home. You can just click it um, If you go up here, um, you do get a home button So that just takes you home right there if you don't want to click down there You can tap that to go home you can tap this for your app multitasking as well um, And it will all show up right there So everything else is working. It's just some things like the scrolling and stuff like that with third-party accessories doesn't seem to be uh, working right now uh, as far as my iPhone my iPhone just has a notification on it that says iPhone in use that is being used from my MacBook Pro. Um, I can still see the notifications on my iPhone screen. However, if I unlock my iPhone, um, it does say iPhone in use. You have to put the phone back to sleep um, and then click try again to restart the actual uh, iPhone mirroring on here. Now, one cool thing about this is you can either use your password. You can use Touch ID on Touch ID uh, enabled Macs. I don't know why that didn't work. Um, or if you're wearing your Apple Watch, you can double tap your Apple Watch to authenticate with the watch itself. Um, and of course now it doesn't want to reconnect. Um, we're going to just close that real quick and pull it back up and see if it wants to connect again. There we go. So it doesn't take that long to connect. It does work pretty well. Um, like I said, you can use Touch ID on a Touch ID enabled Mac or you can use uh, your Apple Watch if you're wearing it and you have all that set up to do that. But that's what it looks like right there. Pretty nifty little feature if you need to do something on your iPhone or you wanna you know, copy something over from your iPhone to your Mac, uh, you can do all that. Now the copy and paste thing is not working right now. Um, so that is something that's still broken, but uh, the actual screen mirroring itself does appear to be working pretty well. So I just wanna show you guys that cool new feature here in beta two. I am Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.